Rivers with Albertus Magnus College. In this series, we'll have experts weigh in on topics affecting our daily lives. And today we're talking about supply chain issues brought about by the pandemic and how we can adjust moving forward. Joining us now is William Anaskovich, Dean of the Tagliatella School of Business and Chair of Business Programs at Albertus Magnus College, and Tabitha Manafort, owner of TWM Development and an Albertus Magnus alum. Thank you both for joining us. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. So, Bill, I want to start with you. Talk to us about this new program uh, that you have at Albertus Magnus and where the idea came from. Well, a couple years ago, we were searching for academic programs that would be innovative, programs that would be in demand in the marketplace. Uh, and so supply chain disruptions and supply chain issues, which have only been compounded during COVID by the lockdowns and the global unrest and inflation, um, was an area that seemed natural to us. Um, our strategic vision commits us to finding practical ways to create innovative academic programs, and supply chain management was just one of those one of those areas. And now, Tabitha, uh, talk to us about your uh, experience with the supply sure. chain issues and how it affected businesses like your own. Sure, it's it's affected it a lot. Um, I think the most, what everyone assumes is the biggest problem has been the increase in material costs. That's been a big challenge. Everybody knows about that one. But the one that people don't realize is the delay in materials showing up to uh, supply houses. So I may be waiting just for something simple as a breaker for a uh, electrical panel, but the delay has caused a, a project that should take three months. Now it's going six, seven months along. So there's a cost to that. And now, Bill, is this something that's going away, or is, is there a need for people to become more well-versed in supply chain? Well, I think not just the COVID problem, but the increasing focus on supply chain and running supply chain more effectively and efficiently uh, required us to build a program that would be sustainable over time. And so our students will be introduced after they take the traditional liberal arts curriculum, which will give them the critical thinking skills that they need. Um, our students will be introduced to courses like logistics, where they'll um, discover the relationship between transportation and warehousing and inventory. Um, they'll be able to, to develop the ability to do forecasting analysis as opposed to traditional market analysis. They'll then move over into the area of supply chain and sourcing, and they'll learn things like Lean In and Six Sigma, and they'll be able to sort of see how you can extract value from supplier relationships and segmentation. And then they'll do a practicum course where they will apply those skills to a real world supply chain problem and then be paired in an internship with a business or an industry like Tabitha's <laughs> um, in which Absolutely. they set themselves up to help that business and also launch their own careers. And Tabitha, before we go, uh, when you first heard about this program, what did you think? Uh, did you think students would benefit from it and would it impact businesses like your own down the line? Uh, absolutely, because these are issues I never thought of 20 years ago when I started renovating houses. And we are so fortunate at Albertus that even though you may, uh, my major was mathematics, but there was so much more I learned um, in the liberal arts college that allowed me um, to work well with others, sure. to see to see projects through from yep, beginning to so end. I'm sorry to cut you um, off. We do have to go, but I want to <laughs> tell our viewers where they can learn more. Uh, albertus.org slash CT Style. Thank you both for coming on today. Thank you Thank very you. much. All right, and coming up on CT Style, a dinosaur-sized egg.